What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Let's Talk Tactical. It has been quite a while since I've been able to post a video. Uh, I've been having to take a little break. It's hard, you know, working 16 hours a day, having a family, and doing YouTube, so. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Today, I'm gonna be testing that Radiant Afterburner out one more time, because we are now going to be at the 2,000 round point. So we're gonna run it until we get to 2,000. We got about 100 more rounds. And I'm actually gonna put on my uh, my stock barrel and I wanna see what it's like again because it's been a long time since I've had my, my OEM barrel in there. So we're gonna run it with both, do a little comparison. And then for you guys that love the tabletop reviews, y'all can jump to the other half of this video because once I get done with here, we'll be going back and doing a tabletop. I got my son with me today. He's excited to be out here, so we're gonna do a little shooting and we'll see what this looks like. This is what she looks like with the Radian. You've all seen it, but for those that haven't, this is the first video all y'all picking up. This is the Radian Ramjet and Afterburner for the Glock 19, 19X, and 45. Uh, it's a barrel and comp combo. It's non-threaded, so this fits right on the end and it only has one set screw. You don't need any Loctite, you don't need any thread locker, you don't need to time it. It just slips on, boom, done. So it's really easy to just switch barrels out, which I'm about to actually do. This is what she looks like. You know, this is the first time I'm getting to see the guide rod, uh, the way it looks. This is the Radian Compressor Guide Rod. And uh, so far, it, uh, it's been working really good. I'm really happy with it. We're gonna run it with the stock barrel. Let's go ahead and see how she runs. I gotta tell you what, the Glock 19X regardless is a great gun. I was really killing it with, with this thing before I got the Radian. So you can never go wrong with the 19X or the Glock 45. So if you get one of these, just uh, know that you got a really good gun. And if your shooting problems keep going up, it's not the gun, you gotta work on some stuff. All right, we're gonna run another, I don't know. I think there's, there's 17 rounds in here, 17 or 19. I don't know how, if I filled it up all the way. So we got the handle it grips, the Elite Series with the Edge Series on the mag. So looking pretty good. I hate that I'm scuffing up my light though, and I know that a lot of y'all are gonna be like, oh, big baby, but man, I really like this light. I don't want it to uh, dim the, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and put the radiant back on. Let's see how, uh, how big of a difference it is. Honestly, guys, let me know what y'all think. Is she complete? Is there anything else I can do to this gun? I'm thinking about getting the 507 competition, uh, the 507 comp uh, red dot from Hollison in the green dot version. And it should be, they say it's bigger than the SRO, but uh, we'll have to see. So what do y'all think about that? And also one last thing I'm gonna get is a magwell. But here we go. We're about to run 19 through this. And we're gonna see how she feels after shooting that OEM barrel. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. It definitely takes the uh, the bite out of the nine mil, which the, I, I know there's gonna be guys out there saying, oh, nine mil ain't got much recoil. Yes, you're right. But 
it takes the bite out of the nine mil, even though there is none. It, it makes it feel almost like a 380 in a way. So it is definitely working pretty well, but let's go ahead and run another match through it real quick. All right, here we go. My grip has been destroying me lately, man. It didn't lock back because I keep riding the slide stop, so. But all in all, what do you guys think so far? Y'all are the ones watching it. I think this is the best comp you can get uh, that isn't like ginormous. Uh, the PMM JTTC Micro Comp is another good one. The only issue with that one is it's threaded, so you're gonna have to put in Loctite, you're gonna have to time it, and you're not gonna be able to take it off and on. All right, guys, we're at a different bay. Uh, ran out of time at the 50 yard, but we're gonna test the accuracy of the Radian barrel real quick. We got this target, just fresh, put it up, nothing on it yet. We're gonna go to about seven yards and we're gonna test the accuracy of the barrel. The Ramjet barrel is supposed to be a match grade barrel. So it's supposed to be as accurate or more accurate than the OEM Glock barrel. So we're gonna test that out. Now, some of it could have been me. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, hold on. Let me let me get you guys down here real quick. That was uh that's pretty good. All right here. All five. So if you can tell, there's no bullet misses anywhere. All five. So the barrel is plenty accurate, but we'll continue to try that out. Let's try five more shots in the same exact spot. Yep. Punched a hole straight through it. All right, so I don't think we need to really discuss on if the barrel is accurate. Let's run a time drill and let's see how accurate I can be with this radium. This is run its timer. I fixed your damn timer. The screws were coming out of here and so I tightened them down and now it's a good solid click. Five seventy one. First shot one eighty eight, and I went a little high on these right here, but I mean, I'm happy with it. Y'all let run it tactical. No, I'm coming for them. Next time we come out here, it's all me. I'm winning every single challenge. Run it. Shut your. He's having so much fun, guys. Look at him. He is having so much fun. First shot, 184. 
second shot, 212. I suck at double taps, guys. Let me do this. All the way up here and all the way right here. First shot's good. It hits right here, but my second shot, boom, or my second shot over here, boom. So that's something I got to work on. But Radian definitely makes it easier. All right, guys, last bag. We got either 18 or 19 in here. So last bag and we will officially be at 2000 rounds. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna meet you guys back at the house and we're gonna bust open this gun and uh, we're gonna do a little comparison. So, all right, guys, I will catch you guys at the house. We are back at the house. It's actually been an entire day for me. Um, I waited till the next day because when I got home, I just had too much stuff to do. But this is how she is looking now at 2,000 rounds. If you have made it this far in the video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to be having as much content as I can out there for you guys. And if you have a uh, video that you would like to see, just leave me a comment or a message and I will try and make that video for you. Um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. So far, I haven't seen much wear at all. Like, zero, honestly. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break this thing down and take a good look at it. It is dirty. I haven't cleaned it, but, you know, I, did, I wanted to keep it the way it was so that y'all could see how it really looks instead of cleaning it up. But, all right, let me break this thing open real quick, guys, and we will see what she looks like. All right, so this is what I was talking about. This is what the Radiant Afterburner looks like. So... The reason this Radiant Afterburner is so important and one of the biggest things I think that makes it the way, like what makes it so good is the fact that it's not threaded, no Loctite, no timing. It's shaped like this, like a teardrop. And all you do is you just take this, boom, done. There is no way it can turn. It cannot turn. All you do is put this set screw in there and crank it down to 15 inch pounds. Uh, if you do a lot of stuff with firearms, scopes, any of that stuff, uh, I definitely suggest to invest in one of these. This is the Fat Wrench by Wheeler and you can crank it down to whatever inch pounds you want. So it's very easy to take on and off. It's very quick and very fast. Most compensators are threaded, so you have to spin this on and you have to time it in a way where once you get it to here, it's not up against here or too far away. So you have to time it perfectly. And then you gotta put thread locker in there. This is so easy, just pops on and off. Very easy, no thread locker, tighten it down to 15 inch pounds, boom, done. So. That's one of the big, big reasons why I love this uh, barrel and comp. So another thing is, this is the OEM Glock barrel. On this barrel, I'm at about 2,100 rounds. This one's at 2,000. So this one only has 100 rounds more than this one. And as y'all can see, the wear is night and day. So... This one, as you can see, has wear all around it. Right there, just like on the Radian, but the barrel itself is just got a lot of wear. The Radian has no wear at all. 
except for right here. It is fluted. And one thing I've noticed that really helps out with that is when it gets dirty, instead of it just building up on the barrel, it pushes all the carbon and dirt into these flutes so that it doesn't get in the way. So you can run it longer without having to clean it. Even where the compensator goes, there is no wear really on this barrel. And on the comp itself, there is no wear. This is all just carbon. I can clean that all up. So whatever finish Radian used, it's really, really good. And I'm sure you can find out what they use on their website. I just haven't really cared to look. Um, the fitment of this is Radian did an amazing job. This, it has such a tight fit in the Glock that it just, it literally, there's no wiggle room, nothing. It fits perfect. All of the, the work on this is done very, very well. They did cut something different besides from the Glock barrel is, I don't know if y'all can see, but right here, it's just straight up and down square. Radian cut this little part right here out. There's a little spot right there that's, they cut out. You can see there's a little valley right here to come out. And whenever it's chambered, I can look through there and see the bullet in there really easy. Now you can still do that with the Glock barrel, but with this one, it's real easy to know that you have a bullet in the chamber. Um, I don't know if that's what it's for or if there's another reason for that, but they did a really good job. And the accuracy, now that I've seen the accuracy, like on paper, um, I'm very, very, very happy with this purchase. Now, if this barrel didn't have a good finish and it was already wearing like this and its accuracy was eh, it was kind of like this or worse, then I would say the $400 would maybe not be worth it. It'd be steep. But the fact that this thing is holding up like a champ, it's very accurate. The compensator works wonders. It does its job. Uh, I, I think the $400 price point is right on because what a lot of people don't take in consideration is yes, you can get a comp for a lot cheaper than that. You get like $150 to get a comp, but you're not getting the barrel with it. You're just getting the comp and it's twice as big as this with this. It fits so perfect and flush and it's so sm much smaller that it just takes the 19 to a 17 length gun. So. I think the price point is perfect because you are getting a match grade barrel. Uh, you are getting a very accurate, durable barrel barrel with the comp. So $400, I think is a good, good deal. Now, I have had 100% accuracy out of this barrel, out of the whole everything. Never had a single malfunction. But when I was using the stock guide rod, which is 18 pound spring, um, the casings were kind of just falling out like there was like this what slide wasn't coming back uh as fast so that they were just kind of just falling out um like i said zero malfunctions but i kind of thought maybe um i wanted to make sure that in the future i had none so i went ahead and picked up the radian compressor i took the 18 pound spring off and put the 15 pound spring on here I've tried all three springs, they work perfect. Uh, but for me, the 15 pound spring was just the perfect where I wanted to be. Because with the 18 pound, it felt awesome. The recoil, the recoil impulse was awesome because when the slide would come back, when the, when the bullet goes off, boom, and the slide goes back, it was a very soft uh, you know, feeling when it came back. But when it went forward to go back into battery, it would slam forward, which would sometimes dip the gun a little bit. I found with the 15 pound spring, the going backwards was a little bit snappier. Not really, you don't really get to notice it that much, but the return to battery was softer. So I wasn't dipping as much. So I found this to be the perfect combination the Radian Afterburner Ramjet with the Radian Compressor with the 15 pound spring. 
Um, so both of these are gonna do you just fine. If you, if you wanna stay with the 18 pound spring, you're not gonna have any problems, or at least I didn't. I've had no malfunctions. I've ran 115 grain, 124 grain, 124 grain plus P. Uh, I've ran some, you know, the Federal HST, and I've ran my SIG Elite Defense 124 grain, and I've ran a couple 147 grains. All of them have been 100% reliable, no issues. Um, but uh, when it comes to shooting and just training and competition, I'm just running 115. Sometimes I'll run 124, but for the most part, I stay with 115. And it says that uh, it has a 44% reduct recoil reduction whenever you're using 115. Now, when they say that, they're not talking about you're going to see a 44% reduction in muzzle rise. But it will take the muzzle rise down a little bit. But it's the recoil impulse, what you feel in your hand when you're shooting. It really kind of just takes that bite out of it and makes it feel like the like the bullet going off. You're like you're shooting a 380. So it really takes the the umph out of it. So it, it definitely definitely worth every penny, I think. So, but I'm gonna do some more testing. But for this video, guys, I think that is about it. Uh, I have a couple more videos coming out, like I said, so y'all just stay tuned. If you made it this far in the video, guys, I appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Um, I just got to the thousand round point with this grip, and I told y'all that we would be back after a thousand rounds, so I will be making that video real soon for you guys. So y'all stay tuned. That is gonna wrap it up, guys. I really appreciate all y'all that have made it this far, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.